Okay, well, here we are again. We're going to make a, another etching. This time, it's going to be a number plate for the front of an engine for Tim there that I did the uh, thump, the builder's plates for previously a couple weeks ago. And he asked me to do a number plate, so I thought I'd show how that is done. And uh, what I did was I made him a number plate as best as I can from pictures that he sent and from my own uh, book, The Nickel Plate Road Story, because uh, he's building a nickel plate Mikado. So I did the best I could and I uh, came up with uh, four different sizes. I sent him a piece of paper with the four different sizes in, on cardboard, told him to cut them out and try the different ones to see which one looked the best for proportion because I don't really have a print. If I had a print on it or I had a real one, then we can measure it and get it right. But uh, I think I'm pretty close. And he chose a number 611. And this is, here's this, this is it. And here we are. Right there. And um, that was the uh, one of the ones I made, a reduction, different reductions I made. And he chose that one. So now what we're going to do, and by the way, I printed it on the same transparency as I did some other stuff, so I'm not wasting. I still got room in here for some small ones. So um, I got the uh, plate cut out. It's ready to go. And what I'm going to do now is, uh, let's see, find out where the light's going to wind up right there. Okay. Now I'm going to tape this like I did before. This is a piece of tape, ordinary tape, nothing special. Nix Besonderes, for you Germans out there. And uh, I studied German in school. It's about the only German I know. Anyway, now what you do is um, you um, put this, the, the, the plate that we're going to expose under here and just position it. Okay, now we're going to lift it up again, I did before, take my little Sharpie, Jack Bodeman Sharpie, and go around, so I go, you know, possibly where that goes, okay, and then, that out of the way, peel off the cover, peel it off, throw it out of the way, put it down right there, and see how that looks, now we're going to turn it around. Because there's some spots there where there isn't any resist, so let's see. Okay. Okay, got the glass. Flop that down on top, that puts pressure on it. I see a little bit of a mark there of some sort. Okay. Back, back on. Okay. Bring the light over. There we go. Done. I mean, how hard is that? It's not a rocket time tree, you know very easy and I hope to encourage a lot of other fellows to try it. Uh, the, 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 the deciding factor for me was actually getting this material. Here's another piece of it here. Getting this material. First of all, it's quarter, uh, it's one sixteenth of an inch thick. It's copper. That's the two things it's got going for because then you could work with it. You could still machine it if you need to. You could silver solder it to any other part like I did on the little steps that I made. And uh, it's not, uh, it's already got the resist on it. You don't have to worry about laminating okay, it or anything. Okay, about like. 10 minutes have passed or so. That's about really all you need to expose it. Um, I've never really um, had any problem with that. So we're going to shut the light off now. And move that out of the way. Glass off. That over here. Lift this up, and now you can just see a faint image on there. We just take this out of the way. And a piece of paper. And now we're going to use developer. I marked this developer in a little asset brush. So now what you do? By the way, this is what's called positive positive plate developer. This is a concentrated solution. Mix six parts of water to one part of this stuff. And this is the company's name that you get all the stuff from. Meadow Graphics Products. It's at 1-800-227-8471. Um,
And they also have a website. If you look up Metal Graphics Products, you can find our website. Okay. A little measuring cup. That was, by the way, thing I got from Micromark. Put a, about a half a cup in there. That's not too much. Third of a cup, like that. Stick out of there. And then just put some water in it. Gotta have water for this stuff. One, two, three, four. So that's about six parts. Six to one. Alright, now you can see. I don't know if you can see it there. But yeah, you can see it in here. It's an orangey colored solution. So now we're going to do put this thing in here. Drop it in. Hopefully it fits. Okay, it does. And then just basically brush over and let it develop a little bit. And uh, it takes a while, every minute or two, brush it. And you start to see it come about. I, I see it already coming out. Okay. About, I think a whole five minutes have passed by, if that. Looks pretty good. Got to put it over in the sink, wash it off. Don't need to bring it up close so you guys can see it. And uh, supposed to have paper towels here. But. Okay. There it is. Now I'll drill holes in the corners so I can suspend it. Whatever. Now you'll notice on the edge here it's a little bit rippled and so on because there was resist actually missing there. But I didn't worry about it because I could take my Sharpie pen and fill that in. Just just put a, a mark, you know, fill it in across there. And that'll take care of that. So uh, that's it. The solution turns like a brownish color, copper. You just toss that away. Wash it out a little bit. That's it. Done. All done. Okay, so now we've got that done. Now we're going to go on to the etching part, and uh, that'll be part two of this uh, making a number plate.